Hello students, welcome to a lesson through the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher and in this lockdown period since we are not able to go to school children, we will be doing many lessons here online through the virtual class. So come on, let's proceed to our lesson for today. So children, today we will be doing a beautiful poem in English. Okay, and the name of the poem is Six Honest Serving Men. Alright, and this is a beautiful poem written by Rudyard Kipling. And he has written this poem about his own experience in life. Okay, what all experiences he himself had in life that he has put it down in this poem. So the six honest serving men are who? The six honest serving men are people who helped him to learn a lot in life. And who are these people? These people are actually the questions that he has asked when he was growing up. Okay, so who are actually the six honest serving men then for Rudyard Kipling? It is what, who, why, when, how and where. Okay, so these are Rudyard Kipling's six honest serving men. Now let us read the poem first and try to understand the meaning of the poem and then we will do an exercise which is part of the poem. Now this entire poem is dedicated to questions children. Okay, so the exercise also will be related to how will you ask good questions? Okay, but that will be later. We will first start with the reading and trying to understand this poem by Rudyard Kipling. Six Honest Serving Men. So see, I keep six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. So what is he doing? What has he done? He has kept six honest serving men. Here serving men means servants or people who work for you. Now his six servants or six working men, serving men are very honest people. Okay, whatever he asks them, they give him the right and correct information. Look at one more word which he has said here. He has said that they taught me all I knew. They taught. So taught is the past tense of teach. Okay. So he's talking about something which has happened maybe when he was young. So now he is a poet and he's writing poems. He's a grown up person. But then these six honest serving men, they have taught him things when he was young or when he was a child or when he was growing up. So now, don't you want to meet who Rudyard Kipling's six honest serving men are? So they are, their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. So see, all these words. These words are the teachers or the servants, you can say, of the poet. Which words? What, why, when, how, where and who. Now children, all these words are question words. Okay? Whenever you want to ask a question, you make use of these words. Alright? Now who asks questions? Now the poet is saying that. These serving men taught him when he was young. So when the poet was a kid, when the poet was a child, he has learned so many different things because of these servants. That means children are the people who ask questions because children are very, very curious. Okay? They are curious means they want to know so many things. They are interested in knowing so many things. That is their nature. Alright? Now suppose a child goes out into a garden. You can see these two children in the garden. Immediately they will start finding out about what is this plant and 
where did it come from when did it start flowering okay who planted it here so these are the kind of questions that children want to know why because children are very very curious and you will see that it is you children who keep on asking these questions your parents will never ask these questions okay because they are grown ups now so children are curious and they are full of questions okay so when you have a child when you are a child then you have these six honest serving men helping you to learn more and more and more by asking questions so let's move on with the poem i sent them over land and sea i sent them east and west means i want to know about everything which is happening on the earth everything which is happening on the land everything which is happening on the sea in whichever direction so i am forever asking questions as a child i am always asking questions i am always observing i am very curious okay and then they say but after they have worked for me i give them all a rest so after i have stopped being curious after i have grown up a little bit and what do i do i give them a rest i stop asking so many questions what is the reason for this the reason could be that my responsibilities have changed now see the child standing and he is looking at himself in the mirror he is all grown up can you see the toy in the child's hand he is held a rabbit in his hand but unfortunately now instead of the rabbit he has got a briefcase in his hand when he has grown up that means his responsibilities have grown he started going to work now so he has to become more responsible and he has to be busy all day with his work okay that means he will not get as much time to ask questions as he wishes to so let's look at the next line of the poem let us see what it wants to say i let them rest from 9 to 5 for i am busy then see 9 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening if your papa goes to work if your mama goes to work you know that they are busy they are busy working in the office so during this time what happens is we stop asking questions the six honest serving men disappear from our lives all right and then for when you're having your breakfast when you're having your lunch and when you're having your tea that time also you do not call these men because you have other things to do you have your phone to see you have the tv to watch you have your friends to talk to so that means as you grow up you stop asking questions you stop being curious to learn new things okay then but different folk have different views i know a person small but elderly people people who are grown up they have a lot of work and they forget to ask questions but small children they are very curious and they want to keep on asking she doesn't have just six serving men but she has 10 million serving men that is she has got so many questions to ask who get no rest at all she keeps 10 million serving men who get no rest at all so all these men who work for this child all these questions that she asks there is no end to these questions okay she sends them abroad on her own affairs from the second she opens her eyes so the moment she gets up in the morning she starts putting these men to work what where who when okay she starts asking them to start working and finding out information for one million house two million wares and seven See so many questions. One million house, two million wares, seven million wives. So the 
these are the kind of servants or the serving men that small children especially have. Okay, children, so like I told you in the beginning, the poet Rudyard Kipling wants to tell us about his own life, I think, that when he was a child, he used to ask so many questions, he used to be so curious, but now when he has grown up, he has somehow stopped asking these questions because he has become busy with life and busy with work. Okay, so like I told you, the focus of our lesson today is questions. And I told you which are the words we use to ask questions. So we have this word what, why, who, how, where and when. So these are the words that we use when we ask questions. And when you want to learn something children, it is very very important for us to ask correct and proper questions. So we have an exercise in the textbook which we will be doing it here now. We will be asking questions. The answers are already given. So let us see and let us also see what kind of questions you ask in which situation. Okay. So questions are very very important if you want to learn. So let us ask questions to ourselves and learn more about these six honest serving. So we will learn how to frame questions today. We don't say make questions, we say frame questions. So let us learn how to frame questions today. Let us look at the answer first and then we will look at the question. So this is the answer. Mr. Patil is our English teacher. This is the answer. So if you want to answer this question, what question should someone ask? So the question should be, who is your English teacher? See, I have underlined the word your. Because the question will not be asked, who is my English teacher? Or who is our English teacher? The thing which we know, we will not ask. Okay? So, when someone asks you who is your English teacher, you will say, Mr. Patil is our English teacher. And see, when we are talking about Mr. Patil, he is a person. So, we have used the word who. Let's come to the next answer. The sun rises in the east. Okay, this is the answer. So, where is the question for this? What should be the question for this? Yes, the question should be, where does the sun rise? So, the sun rises in the east. So, which is the word we have used over here? Where? So, children, we use who when we want to ask about a person and we use where when we want to ask about a place or a location or a direction. Okay? So we talked about who and we talked about where here. Let's see the next ones now. This is the next answer. I come to school by bus. So what should be the question? How do you come to school? How do you come to school? Can you see I have underlined the word you? If you ask, how do I come to school? It is wrong. Okay? So when the question answer is I, in the question it will be you. How do you come to school? See the word which we have used here? It is how. Okay? See the next answer? I was late because of the traffic. I was late because of the traffic. So what is the question? Why were you late? Why were you late? So when someone asks me, why was I late? I will say, I was late because of the traffic. Now here we use how and why. We use how 
for manner or way. Okay? And we use why for reason. So whenever you want to find out the reason, you will ask the question with why. And when you want to find out the manner or the way in which something is done, you will ask the question with how. Let us go to the last part here now. To our last two serving men. So our school starts at 11. What should be the question for this? When does your school start? When? What are you talking about? You are talking about the time. See I have underlined your. So when the question is your, the answer will be our. When does your school start? Our school starts at 11. Okay. And see this next one. Funny stories make me laugh. What makes you laugh? Funny stories make me laugh. Alright children, so this was about the last two serving men. When and what? Let us see in which situation they are used. So use, you use when. When you want to talk about the time. Okay. When did you go to school? When did you do your homework? When will you come home? So you are talking about the time. And when we talk, use the word what? Then we are talking about information. Okay? When we use the word what? We are talking about information. So children, now that we have read the very interesting poem, Six Honest Serving Men. And we have also seen some exercises in it. Let us now talk a little bit about the person who has written this particular poem. So, if you look at the end of the poem, children, you will see that it is written by this person called Rudyard Kipling. Now, Rudyard Kipling, he was an English journalist. Journalist means someone who writes articles in newspapers, magazines, etc. He was also a short story writer. So, he not only wrote poems, but he also wrote beautiful small stories. And he was a poet, he was a novelist. And he was born in India. And most of his work, you will see, is based in India or is inspired by people, inspired by the surrounding, the nature, the situation in India. Now, why I am telling you about this person, Rudyard Kipling, is there is a very, very interesting book which is written by Rudyard Kipling okay and all of us we love to uh, see stories or see the movie based on this particular book so which is that book it is a book called the jungle book so when I say jungle book what is the image that comes to your mind yes we think about Balu we think about Mowgli the hero in our book Okay, so he is a child who has got lost in the jungle and he is brought up by a family of wolves and he also behaves like a wolf. So there are many, many beautiful movies made on the story of Mowgli and who is the person who has written this very, very beautiful story and very, very interesting story. It is none other than Rudyard Kipling who has written the poem just we, that we just saw, Six Honest Serving Men. Okay, so come on, let's take a look at some more interesting characters in the jungle book. So there Mowgli, he is walking inside the snake and what is the name of the snake? I think it is Ka. Okay, and then the very, very famous villain of jungle book. Who is that? Sher Khan. So Sher Khan always wants to kill Mowgli. And all the other people, Balu, Bagheera and everyone else are always trying to save Mowgli. So isn't this a very interesting piece of information? So that is why I purposely told you about the poet Rudyard Kipling. Now children, let us move on and let us do another exercise from this particular textbook where they have asked you to answer some questions. So see here answer the following questions. Now these are all questions which are based on the poem that we just learnt. 
So see, this is your first question. Who has taught the poet all he knew? Now what I want you to do is, I want you to pause this video here and try to find out the answer yourself. And then you can play the video again and see the answer which I am going to give you. And also children, I have a very small task for you to do at the end of the lesson. That is, once you finish watching the video, the lesson is not over for you anymore. So once you finish watching the video, you will go to the description box there below the video and there are a few tasks for you to do. So what those tasks are, I will tell you towards the end of the video again. Alright, so come on, let's take a look at this particular question. Who has taught the poet all he knew? Who has taught the poet all he knew? The poet keeps six honest serving men and they have taught him all that he knew. Okay, so it is the six honest serving men who have taught the poet all that he knows. And who are those people? Who are the six honest serving men? Why? Who? What? Where? When? And how? So these are the six honest serving men or the six honest servants of the poet. These servants, what do they do? They ask they make him ask questions okay and that is how his knowledge increases and then he learns so many things so who are the people who teach him all the things that he knows all these questions okay or all these questions starting with why who what where when and how let's go to the next question children when does the poet give them all a rest so, does the poet ever give them a rest? Yes, the poet does. The poet lets them rest from 9 till 5. As well as breakfast, lunch and dinner. So, he lets them take a rest. When? From 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Why? Because at that time the poet himself is busy. He is doing his own job. Okay, and then when the poet is having his breakfast, lunch and dinner, that time also he lets these five or the six people take rest. Now, let's come to the next question. Who keeps 10 million serving men? Now, the poet has got only six. But there is someone who has got 10 million serving men. Who is that person? A small person. The poet knows keeps 10 million serving men. Now, small person means what? A child. Okay? Now, children, they keep on asking questions. You also must be doing it. When you see something new, you ask your mummy, mama, what is that? Why it is like that? From where it has come? How it is like that? So, small children or small people, small people means children, they keep on asking questions. So, they have a lot of serving men with them. Okay, they have 10 million serving men. Now, the last question here is, do the serving men of the small person get any rest? So, what do you think? These uh, people who serve these small persons, do they get any rest? In a way, the poet is asking whether children, they ever stop asking questions. So, do they? Not at all. So, the serving men of the small person doesn't get any rest. They do not get any kind of rest because these small people they keep on asking questions by small people we mean what see we mean these small children so the small person that the poet knows is this small little girl and see she's always ordering these men to run around and find out answers for her all right children so this is a very beautiful exercise from our textbook now we have one more interesting exercise so let us take a look at that but it is based on your evs textbook so see how we are slowly taking english towards evs so this is your evs textbook have you seen this textbook you must have learned some lessons also from this textbook now what are they telling us they're telling us to select any topic from your evs textbook so like, come on let us take the first topic only and what is the first topic the life cycle of animals. This is the first topic in your EVS textbook, EVS 1 textbook. 
and then what you are supposed to do you are supposed to use the serving men that is you are supposed to use this lesson and then you are supposed to form questions with the words which words the serving men what when why how who etc okay so this is going to be a very very interesting exercise for you to do so this is one assignment and the other assignment i will tell you towards the end of the lesson okay so this was the lesson children for you six honest serving men now there is one more last question where they have asked you which of these six honest serving men are your favorite so that you will think and you will write so which is the question which you like to ask the most do you like questions based on how when why okay that you have to think all right children so that is all for now so children now you have watched the video so after you watch the video now you will have to complete a few simple tasks now you might have watched the video on your computers or your laptops or your mobile phones now after you watch the video what will you do you will please go to the description box which is given below the video so what is the description box see the description box looks like this all right and after you go to the description box you will see that there are a few questions there now what are these questions about these questions are about the lesson that we just learned or the video that you just watched so what will you do you will think back properly about the lesson and you will try and answer these questions and note down the answers in your notebook if you want okay after that we have another task waiting you will also click on the link which you will find in the description box to fill up the google form so now what is the google form children it is nothing but a simple form there are a few simple questions there about the video which you just saw and also about yourself so these are the tasks now that you will have to complete after you watch each video So children wasn't that a very interesting lesson i'm sure you learned a lot of new things in this lesson if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my video so that you will get to see all the videos which i keep posting regularly